after she says another parent walked into a school and hit her child with a belt. And tonight, that other parent is facing charges connected to that incident. NBC6 reporter Ryan Nelson has the story. This video is difficult to watch. Police say the woman seen in this surveillance video marched onto a school campus on Thursday and beat a child with the belt, then went on the run. She was booked into jail about 10 hours ago. Florida City PD says this was 33-year-old Katie Ann Sewell on Thursday, swinging a belt and beating a child at a Florida City private school. And they say this was Sewell on Saturday, appearing in a mugshot after being arrested and booked into the Miami-Dade County Jail. This lady was at work, left her job, and attacked my child. Sandra Pollard says her son was on the receiving end of the Bell's attack. She opened up to NBC6 Thursday night about the incident at the Bethel Seventh-day Adventist Private School. Pollard says it all started when her son was being bullied by another student. The mom comes in fussing and cussing at my child and just beat him in his face, in his head, in his face, his arm. After the incident between the two children on Thursday, Pollard said Sewell, the mother of the other child, showed up on campus. He called and said somebody was bullying him, fat shaming him, and he picked up the child and he dropped the child back down on, on his feet. He was being bullied, he defended himself, and then the mom came and she was hitting all on him, whipping him with a belt. Sewell's arrest coming two days after the incident. Florida City PD says she went on the run after the belt beating attack. A PD spokesperson saying in part, quote, Our detectives had been working the case since the incident, but she fled and did not go home or work. The detectives' diligent efforts were able to get her into custody Saturday morning. Since Thursday's incident, a judge has granted Pollard a temporary restraining order against Sewell. Now Sewell faces three charges, including child abuse without great bodily harm. Those three charges carry a total bond amount of about $6,000. Reporting in Northwest Miami-Dade, Ryan Nelson, NBC6 News.